Hello. Hello. Nice to see you all again. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> has been a while. Um, well, the winter has, has kind of not passed us by, but hopefully, hopefully abating. <laughs> It's about you know, or if you're from Sweden, it's hold your thumbs, I think, isn't it? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have been busy. We haven't haven't let you down and done nothing. Um, we've had a series of quite strong winter storms. Um, as you would expect. <laughs> yeah, exactly, as you would expect, because it's winter, and that happens in winter. <laughs> Um, Although some days it did seem to go on and on. Yeah, and on. we had one in particular. Cindy had to fly back to the UK um, for a couple of weeks, um, and I was here on my own. And I had a five-day storm, of which three of those days I couldn't get off the boat. It was bouncing <laughs> up and down so much. But that, that's another story. Um, and we had forty-seven knots of wind, um, and and water coming over the sea wall. Um, the marina's pretty well protected, so it wasn't that bad, but it was still, um, the, the wind on the mast was, was blowing us all over the place. Um, and, I, and I snapped one of my rubber stretchy things, didn't I? Yeah. The springs held up, but uh, the new rubbers that we got in Greece, one of them just, just snapped. Um, not, not one end, it broke both ends off, one after the other. Um, so we did, we've done quite a bit of exploring. Um, we went down. There's uh, a fly in here. Is there? <laughs> <It's> right, <laughs> we went down and we met. Um, uh, we went down and met our friends on dusk. Stephen Tracy. Uh, Stephen oh. Tracy. Hi. Um, you'll remember Steve, especially oh, when. Steve. Oh, I am Steve. <laughs> when you see the video, you, you'll remember Steve. And um, what else? Oh, we've 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 uh, had an engine out and a gearbox out. And um, we've got all that on vid on video. We've got a lot more to do to this boat as well. I've, I've done a generator. I've done a Yanmar. I've yesterday and today just finished fitting a new Chinese diesel heater for some other friends of ours. So it's been busy. It has been busy. And and yeah. um, and you'll see in this video we've refurbished the blinds on the boat. Um, Cindy got a grip of them and uh, and <laughs> took them all down and scrubbed them all and anyway watch the video you'll see it's uh, it's quite interesting what we had to do and we'll see you at the end. Well, we haven't been doing nothing while Cindy was in the UK. I had a forty-seven knot wind in the marina, but it hasn't all been storms. There's been a lot of sunshine. We've been able to get out and do some exploring as well as being very pretty. The eastern end of the island, away from the marina, is very green, lush and extremely pretty. But in this video, we're going to go west, to Gurney, and show you around the ancient harbour. We're also going to show you how we refurbished the boat's blinds. Focus, there we go. Yeah, all the elastic is all frayed, gone like old knicker elastic. Stay with us to the end. Cindy was away in the UK. I had a great time. Yep, five days on the boat, three of which I couldn't get off it. The storm was huge and hit 47 knots in the marina. But it didn't take long for the crystal clear waters to the east of us to settle and become this beautiful seascape again. And of course it wasn't long before we were back to boat jobs. 
so we've um, it's the evening and uh, been called away to do other things all day long we sometimes get asked what we do in the dark winter evenings on Impavidus <laughs> and um, what we're doing today it's not that exciting <laughs> it's not that exciting no we're um we've got these blinds okay that show you they're you know, up against the light because it's dark outside you see they clip up on little studs like that and they've got these pieces of elastic here and that all the pieces of elastic are gone they want taking down and cleaning but you can see all the elastic come on focus focus there we go yeah all the elastic is all frayed gone like old knicker elastic and the same down there on that one and the same down there on that one so what we found is that there's some elastic there look that I've cut off so what we do is we unscrew them they've gone black and horrible and dusty behind you can see so we clean them up but first what we want to do is take the bottoms out let's zoom out take the bottoms out which is this piece of fiberglass rod it's like a sail batten comes out and then the sail batten has a bit tight on space has these rivets in with the old pieces of elastic under the rivet so what we're doing is Cindy bought some new some new elastic she's cut them all into lengths and then we push them through that hole from one side and what you actually need to do is to push it through and then pull it with your trusty <laughs> toothpick so this is our best bath towel that I'm doing this on <laughs> so when you have an old towel don't throw it away when they go hard and horrible um, rags this is rags so this is that green paint on it look where we sprayed something I think that was the pump that's um, Volvo green and then it said that's varnish that's oil that's oil <laughs> and, and this is clean yeah you can tell all the jobs by the color of the gack that's on there so we just there we go so top tip dun, dun, dun. these rivets are stainless and I'm just gonna pop those out like that there we go so these rivets are stainless when you're drilling stainless you want to drill it very very slowly and preferably with some lubricant very slowly there you go. because if you draw drill stainless too hard too fast um, it will work harden and then it will get really hot so we just lever that out there we go well, we've got two more now with your drill there we go there we go nice and slowly and pull them out with a big flat screwdriver One. Nice and slow. And there we go. Yeah, stainless is one material you want to drill really slow, slow as you can. There we go. And now we've just got to replace them. Put the rivets in.
to the west of us, past the marina, and even further west than those big grain stores that we filmed with the drone. Yes, they were grain stores. The coast shallows, and the water is only 20 metres deep, half a mile or so out to sea. There are many hidden reefs and rocks, and it's quite dangerous to sail in this area unless you know it pretty well, I'd say. But having said that, it's extremely pretty, and flying the drone around gets you some great shots, like this one. The place we were headed for was Gurney. There's a big castle there. You can see a 3D rendition of it on Google Earth. We wanted to go there because we knew our friends on the boat Dusk were staying in Ambassador's Marina just round the corner. Now this small harbour is ancient and the castle which is there is just absolutely brilliant. We've got some footage of it. I'll show you later. But it is very picturesque, even though the actual harbour itself is extremely busy and not really open to members of the public. It's locals and ferries and tourist boats predominantly. Having parked in the car park at the top of the steps, you pass the fishermen on the bench and down towards the chandlery. <coughs> portside buildings at the time of our visit were being refurbished and I can tell you now it looks very swish down there just in time for the new season Ten minutes later we were in Ambassador's Marina where Steve and Tracy from Dusk were staying. So we sought them out. Dusk is out here. <laughs> Gee, hell. Hi, I'm Steve. We'd spent a lot of time with Dusk and it was good to catch up with them. And then that. 
spin it round again because we've already started. Just pull that piece of fiberglass out, and that's the the bit that's left. Look. You've got to have nimble fingers. So what I do is I push it in and pull it back so that you can see the hole. Hold it with my finger and then push. So I'm pulling one side back and pushing the other side in. Like that. That comes through. Just poke it through. So it's now through with both. Like that. And then that points down we'll take a rivet and these are really short pop rivets boy and push see this tail moving that's because the boat's rocking and rolling again and that goes in there and then the rivet goes in holds that and then we just trim the back off and then push this rod back into the blind. So I'll do another one, do the other end. So reach in, put it on there and pull it out. And you can see the loop is just under here. What we've got to do is just reach in. Hopefully the camera is focus reach in grab that piece of elastic look and pull it out and then that elastic will go round one of these little toggles here and be held in place that's it so we've got this blind back up again now and then those pieces of elastic just go around those little toggles perfect that's it perfect so if we can finish that off and clean the rest of the boat up, finish the washing up, <laughs> clear the table of all the bits and pieces, get the other two up, um, yeah. Good, good job, job done. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. Got to laugh. We've got a list of a list of jobs for today. But it's so they're such silly little jobs, but they they desperately need doing. And they and they take a long time as well. That's the other thing. I mean, the, the boat is, after this refit that we're doing in a couple of weeks' time, the boat will be as new. We've done quite a bit of varnishing. I don't know if you see the companionway handles there. They've all been taken down, stripped, sanded, uh, six coats of varnish. And now we're doing the blinds. Let's put the torch on the ceiling. That, Get us the extra light we need. Yeah, right. Let's um, let's finish the others off. So we've got the battery bay open and the electrical tools out because we're fitting the uh, thermostatic switch, and we've now put up nice clean blinds. Look. Let's see if we can zoom in on those. They're all nice and clean. As you can see there, Cindy's cleaned all those up. Bleachy vinegar and what was it? Bleach vinegar and what? Just washing powder. Well, washing powder liquid. <laughs> so they've come up nice and clean. Nice new tags on them. All up apart from this one here. So, I was going to try and film us putting it up, but you need six hands and four cameras to do it. Hanging down, you see these little strings here, look, just hook over those, whoop, trying to do this one handed, hang over those little tags like that, and that's it, job done. So we'll now fold these up, and they fold up like so and then push on there like that you see them yeah that's it jobs are good well done darling even bathed in sunlight now you are
<laughs> better than last night. I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, a few bits and pieces that you haven't seen. Um, th there was quite a lot of outtakes in there, but too <laughs> too many to put in one video. So um, perhaps I'll put them in uh, another video. As I say, we've got lots of things to do. Um, we have uh, work on our boat, which um, we've told you about uh, already. We've certainly told the patrons about it. Uh, we're having the engine out, or I'm taking the engine out. Um, I'm taking the drive leg out, the sail drive leg out, replacing the seals on that. Mainly, I will be doing oh glorious sanding. <laughs> yeah, glad, glorious sanding for Cindy because we are um, going to redo the copper coat. It's now, well, it was put on in 2015, mm -hmm. and as you know from previous videos, they didn't do a particularly good job, um, and so we've decided to bite the bullet and ha and recoat it again, so it's good for another nine or ten years. Yeah. Um. Our son's coming out, hopefully, to give me a hand um, to take the engine and, and the drive leg out. And then we've got lots of other jobs to do. Um, we're going to change the element on the chlorifier or boiler. Loads and loads. It's got a big, long list of stuff <laughs> that we're going to do. And we've already started on, on some of it. Um, and we then just we keep revising the list and added more and more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, um, um, through hulls. We've got through hulls to do on this boat. Uh, we've only got two that are below the waterline on on this boat, but we're going to replace them. Then we've got 18 to do on a catamaran and <laughs> six or eight to do on another Bavaria. So um, we will be experts on, <laughs> on taking out and putting back in um, through hulls by then. And they're all slightly different. If you've got any thoughts on through hulls, I'd be interested... Uh, if you put me, put it in the comments um, uh, around uh, the true design, the, the plastic ones, bronze, uh, stainless steel, DZR or brass. Um, and you know that brass and DZR are not the same thing. Uh, Dezincified brass um, is what DZR is. And just plain brass is what you put in water tanks in houses. Mm. So yes, it would be interesting if you've got any thoughts or on those. I'd like to see that. Otherwise, that's about it for another week. And, and we, we haven't been sort of talking to you at the videos for quite a while. Um, at the beginning and end. We've just been so busy. Busy, <laughs> busy, busy. busy. Yeah. Somebody's just been swimming as well in the pool. Right for some, isn't it? <laughs> right. That's it, I think, isn't it? Yep, that's and, it. Until next time. Bye. Sail safe, guys. Bye. <laughs>